You're listening to The Cleveland Gary Show. This is Real Radio. Good afternoon. Welcome to The Cleveland Gary Show. Another day in sunny South Florida to talk a little radio on Real Radio. First up, I'd like to introduce my partners in crime, Nancy known as Kitty, and PC. How are you? Nancy. I'm great. How are you? What's up, Cleve? Hey, what's up, P? This is one heck of a setup change from last week, or last time I was here, at least. Yeah, yeah. Pretty interesting, huh? <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. pretty interesting. Yeah, we. this is interesting. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's uh, different. It's definitely different. Yeah. Change is good. Yeah. Yeah, PC, you mentioned something to me earlier before we get into the uh, show that A-Rod just hit his uh, 500, 500 home, home run. Wow. The youngest player to reach 500 home runs. Yeah, Johnny was talking about that uh, just a little bit ago, about how he has 200 runs more than what Barry Bonds did at this point in his career. 200. 200 more. Wow. You think he'll break that record? I think so. Yeah. Providing Uh, no injuries, no major injuries, I think he'll he'll break that record. You know, something could always happen to him, but, you know, I think he's going to break it. So I'm going to be the first one to say it. I think A-Rod's on steroids. (laughs) Can can you believe this guy? You got to love him, you know? It, the, the guy reaches a milestone. We should be <laughs> proud and happy for A Rod. He got to be on steroids, you know? He got to be on steroids. That's Interesting. awesome. You know, another guy, <laughs> <laughs> it is awesome. Another guy uh, to mention, I think, has a great chance of uh, breaking that record that Barry Bonds will eventually set uh, is Ken Griffey Jr. Yeah. He, he's right on the uh, heels of a, uh, uh, he's not far away. He's, he's not far away at all. I think if anybody can break that record, it will be uh, Ken Griffey Jr. or A-Rod. Yeah. I, yeah I, my I personal think so. take on that. It's, it's interesting. It's going to be at least a couple years before it happens, but yeah. you never know. You never know. You never know. All right, guys, let's do what we do. And that is what, Kitty? I don't know. You don't know. Talk Real Radio. In Minneapolis, Minnesota, the Mississippi River Bridge Falls. A reported 50 cars fell in the river stacking on top of each other. So far, a reported seven people has lost, have lost their lives. What happened here? What exactly happened? There are several theories circulating in media mainstream as to what caused this bridge to fall. There was only one lane open on each side of the bridge. The bridge has eight lanes, four in each direction. Mm-hmm. A, cul- a couple, sorry about that, a couple notable theories. One government official said that there was too much weight on the two lanes where all the cars were traveling, and that threw off the balance of the bridge on both sides. Gee whiz. That theory doesn't make sense to me because there are only so many vehicles you can get on the bridge at one time, which means it couldn't have been a weight issue. Now, the police department is assuming it was a crime scene, and no radical uh, terrorist group is taking credit uh, that it was a terrorist (laughs) attack at this point. Before we go any further, let's examine how these massive kind of bridges are built. This will help make this will help you make an educated decision on what you think could have happened. Okay. Many people believe that bridges are bolted together piece by piece, and if one piece goes, they all go. That assumption is not true. Bridges are built in many sections, and each section is independent of the other. Each piece is stacked up against each other. Have you ever driven on a bridge and heard that noise as if you're traveling over a speed bump? You're actually traveling over each individual section of that bridge. And because they are not connected but closely pushed together, you hear that noise as your tires cross over each section. If you stop your car on a bridge and get out, you can actually see the water between the cracks of each piece that makes up that bridge. So if one span of the bridge falls, they won't all necessarily fall. Which explains that the government officials' domino theory that one pull the rest down has no validity. And in looking at the pictures, the center span fell. The span on one side of the center span also fell, but the span on the other side of the center span did not fall. Now, behind the one span that did not fall, two more back there fell. So that being the case, something else caused, had to cause those other spans to fall because they had no connection to the center span. So the picture, so the police designating the incident as a crime scene and gathering uh, evidence clearly indicates that they believe foul play might have been involved. Listeners, 
which theory do you believe caused a domino? Do, which theory do you believe? Do you believe it was the domino effect that caused the Spans to fall? Or do you believe the police department? Do you believe foul play was involved? Give me a call. The call in number, I want to know your opinion. 877 927 6969. That's 877 927 6969. I want to know your opinion. Let's start with you, Kitty. Do you think foul play was involved or? Foul play. It was no. like uh, the domino effect. You I know? do believe people are going to be more nervous when they go to go over bridges, <laughs> especially at rush hour. They don't yes. want to be sitting on that thing. Right. What do you think, Fee? Uh, you know, it's. First off, I find it preposterous that they're jumping straight to, oh, this must be some kind of terrorist attack. Right. No, it most likely was just some kind of mistake they made. You think? Plain and simple. Yeah, it's interesting. You know, what's so ironic, uh, you, you look the way the spans fell, it, it couldn't have been that domino effect theory, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just an opinion. I think, uh, I think somebody blew the bridges. <laughs> but, you know, hey, I could be wrong, you know? Hopefully, you know, the, you know, through this investigation, uh, they will uh, get, get to the bottom of it and see, you know, exactly what happened. Uh, but, uh, it's, you know, but before we go any further, I'd like to just give condolences to those families uh, who Absolutely. lost uh, people in this tragic, tragic uh, mm -hmm. ordeal on that bridge. Uh, man, I just cannot fathom, you know, what they're going through right now. Right. Um, horrible. 50 cars stacked on top of each other. What do you Amazing. make of that? What do you think this is? Roller derby or something? Unbelievable. I mean, it's crazy. I mean, you know, and so, I mean, did they, I mean, how can you, don't they monitor or put some kind of device on these bridges, PC, or, I mean. Well, I, th I would think they would have regular inspections. Yeah. Yeah, they had a, an, I read where they had uh, an inspection um, in 2006. And they said uh, the public safety something said they found no structural uh, deficiencies in the bridge. Okay. Uh, and I'm wondering, you know, a, uh, a year later, you know, Humpty Dumpty falls off the wall and mm -hmm. uh, comes tumbling down. So that kind of befuddled me. So Humpty Dumpty didn't fall off the wall. The wall fell. Well, Out from I under mean, Humpty. The, ca the cars yeah. fell, you know, Humpty yeah. Dumpty. You know, well, I think we have a man who travels on a bridge every day. Oh, yeah? Let's try Charlie here. From Hutchison Island, we'll, we'll go to Charlie. You're on. Hey, how you doing? Hey, great. What's up, Charlie? Good. Good. Hello. Uh, yeah, I, from what you were saying, and, and uh, from what I heard from other sources, I have a friend that's actually an engineer, and he said the same thing. And that we're just so fall like that. You know, it's not it's not you know, engineeringly uh, possible, or you know, scientifically possible for it to fall like that. And um, so I'm I'm with you. I, I think there's uh, something going on there. You think there were there there was foul play, Charlie? Yeah, yeah. And if you remember, I'm not I'm not saying Al Qaeda did it, but they may have. I don't know. But mm -hmm. if you remember, they did say uh, uh, some of the groups came out, the terrorist groups. They did say, if you remember, I think it was Al Qaeda said they're going to attack America in the in the heart of America, and they're going to get, we're going to get you in the heart of America. Mm -hmm. And um, I mean, I don't know that this is. I mean, this isn't a the spectacular disaster that maybe we associate with Al Qaeda. Maybe they might have done something. We might be thinking of them doing something bigger, but I mean, this is still really bad and all. But right. I mean, I think uh, I don't, I wouldn't put it past them. Let's just say that you know. I agree with you, Charlie, because it, I mean, you you look at nine eleven, that was big, okay. And uh, if these guys are relentless, you know, they're always planning some strategy, you know, to get to where they want to go. Uh, maybe they're taking small steps. Maybe the bridge was that first small step that will take them to another step and another step and ultimately uh, get them to where, where they want to go. But that's not going to happen here in America. But that's just hindsight, you know. That's just a, just an assumption. I really don't know. I just, you know, what will ultimately happen. But uh, I just cannot see that the bridge fell and the domino effect took place and another fell. I, I think there was, there was some foul play uh, that took place on that bridge. Yeah, and you're exactly right. They don't they don't fall like that. So when people look at that. They have to they have to see that. Nobody really on the news has ever brought that up. They just they just talk about the aftermath. But that's something that really needs 